blessings, beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I hope all is well. How are y'all doing? I hope all is well. I hope y'all having a good day. Um, we back on story time. Um, and I'm excited about this one because I was kind of debating like which I, I, I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, which story should I tell? And I really felt like this story um, was very important um, to tell. So I'm going to tell it this time. Um, I kind of wanted to like try to make them like chronological order. Like they wasn't like, hey, this event happened, this event happened. But over time, um, the events happened. And so I wanted to stay in chronological order. But God wanted me to share the story. So we kind of going out of order. But it's okay. Um, the stories still will make sense. And it's, I think it's a, applicable for where, you know, a lot of people may be in life. And so I think that may be why God, I don't know um, why, but we're just going to do this story. And so the year was 2018. Um, and I had just gotten, well, I was at the Woman Thou Art Loose um, uh, conference. That's the story. Uh, another time but I was at the conference and a good friend of mine who I had been friends with we worked together and we had been good friends for uh, a few years and we kind of separated going through to different um, different uh, lines of business within the company we were working for we knew each other from work um, and as we separated to these different businesses, um, we kind of, we kept in touch, like mostly through passing. I, I would see her, she would see me, we would see each other and just love on each other. Hey girl, hey, and, and talking, I order food. I would reach out to her. She ordered food we, from time to time. And so I met the woman that are loose and God is doing some mighty things at the woman that are loose conference. And so if you can go, I, I would suggest you go um, because, yeah, OK, that's another story. We're going to keep with this story. And so I'm at the conference and I get a, a, a IG message from my friend. I won't say her name. Um, uh, and she says to me, um, hey, friend, like we always talk to each other. Hey, girl. Hey, friend. And so she like, hey, friend, it's in the message. And yeah, I figured that's how she said it because I know it and that. And so she said, hi, friend, um, what you up to? And so, you know, the small talk. And I'm like, oh, I'm at this conference, this, this and that. And telling her, you know, hey, you know, I'm a little busy, but I'm going to get back to you. And she said, friend, I got somebody for you. And so I'm like, oh, OK, cool. I think this is and I think he'd be great for you, this, this and that. And so she tried to play matchmaker. And so she tried to play matchmaker. She messaged me and I tell her I'm out of town, but I'll be back. And she's like, all right, well, when you get back, we're going to have to talk about it. I'm going to show you this, this and that. I think you'll be perfect for him. Um, and this this is going to be perfect. And so I said, OK. And so um, I come back into town. Now, all these things happen. So many good stories from women that are loose. And I can't wait to share them with you. And so I come back and um, we she comes down to see me um, to my desk. And so when she comes to my down to my desk. She's telling me about this guy and just all this grace. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And she tried to play matchmaker. And then the Lord said to me, um, tell her about woman that are loose. And so I began to tell her like about, cause I'm on 10, I'm on like cloud nine from woman that are loose when I'm coming back. And so I'm wanting to ooze out and share. I ain't thinking about no man. I want to share with you what the Lord was doing and so I began to tell her about Woman That Are Loose. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, everybody, mostly everybody that I shared the Woman That Are Loose story with during that time frame, um, something mighty happened. Like, some, like God gave a word. Some things happened. And it wasn't me. It was God using me. I was just simply the vessel. And so I obeyed God and he used me. But Ultimately, it was, was for the person in which he wanted me to share. And so I began to share with her. Now, I want to go back a little bit. Um, years ago, dang it, my friend, uh, I'm, I'm a, my friend had um, a miscarriage. And it was very hard for her and her, her, um, her family um, after that. And, and just, you know, wanting to have... Um, a child and, and, and just seemingly couldn't. And so 
boom we're so i began to tell her about woman uh thou art loose um and and um i began to tell her about woman thou art loose and as i'm telling her about it um yeah i'm 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 gonna bleep her name out because i shouldn't have said it so i'm gonna bleep her name out um so if you hear bleep is because i bleeped it out it wasn't a curse word it was me bleeping out the name got it okay back to the story so i began to tell her about the story and the lord began to give me a vision and then he spoke and said i want you to lay hands on her womb and pray for her to have a child i want to bless her with a child and so now think of me being a friend knowing the situation knowing the miscarriage and knowing that and then god tells you to tell this person who's been wanting to have a baby but seemingly can't and i don't know where my friend's faith was um you know in that journey but i know they was just you know hey maybe maybe won't have it just maybe have to adopt and just live with the fact that man my body seemingly isn't doing what it should be doing as a woman um and and so uh and so i said so i after i told the story and she hyped with me as i'm telling her um the story i say friend the Lord wants to give you a child and the look on her face. Friend, now you know, I know, I know, I know this is difficult to hear, but the Lord wants to bless you with the child. And then I had a vision of her having children um, and not just one, but several. And so I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray and I'm going to lay hands on your stomach and I'm going to pray. And so I began to pray. And as I'm praying, you could feel, now I know y'all may think I'm crazy, but I know what I felt. I know, and she felt it too. I wish my friend was here to, to, to but I trust God. Like, as I'm laying hands, um, her stomach began to grow in that moment. And I jumped back, and she jumped back like, oh my God, friend, did you feel I said friend? Oh, she, what was that? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just prayed. And so I began to, and, and so, of course, it didn't stay that way, but that moment. And so I prayed. We had that moment. We, we talked for like, now we at work, just about two hours. I don't work there no more, so yes. And I normally do my, I do my job. I do my job. But that moment was a moment, a God moment. And so, and so after that, my friend went home. You, you get somebody work, went home. And got a pregnancy test and was like, friend, I'm not, it's, it's not, and, oh, okay. The word was at the end, by, so this was October of 2018. I said, the Lord is saying, this will be a Christmas gift to your family. You will find out you're, you're pregnant for Christmas and you will, so the Christmas, Christmas Eve and you will let your family know Christmas Day that this this gift friend went and got a pregnancy test and wasn't pregnant at that time and so this began a cycle of just us praying just us believing god and so november came pregnancy test and would send me pictures friend no and i i I just we would just man when i say we would fellowship like constantly friend pray for me pray for my peace pray for my because it just seems like it won't happen but when you're going through or you got a word you have to trust that god is faithful to bring that word to pass it's not our job to make it pass it ain't our job to bring it's god's job our job is just to trust him and so in this moment this is building her faith because and her faith is wavering because you heard a word But you ain't seeing no evidence of it. You taking this pregnancy test and they all coming back negative. Oh, God. And so, okay, now I'm going home. Now, at this point, November, we're in December, early December. And so December, I'm going home for Christmas. And just so happened, I'm going home December 24th. I'm on the plane. And as I'm on the plane, it drops in my spirit. Oh God, it's the 24th and I ain't heard I'm going to bleep this one out too. I haven't heard from my friend 
in in like two weeks. And so I'm thinking and, and I'm I'm like, man, God, I'm feeling some type of way because I'm like, you gave me that word. And man, I missed it. I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have. And I'm I'm like, now my faith is is wavering. I'm like, oh. and I, I think what got me was the, the specificness of the word, the the 24th, the, the dates. And I'm like, oh. It, and and I think my heart grieved because I don't want anybody to miss it because I, I messed up because I, I said something I shouldn't have said. And so I'm like, Lord, I'm sorry. And I'm just like, man. Huh. And as soon as as soon as and I'm, I'm going to put it up here, too, so y'all can see the text message, I'm going to leave their name out but so that you can see it as soon as i got off the plane ping 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 friend call me friend it's a text message but i know this is how she was saying friend call me when you can call me and so i call yeah friend what's going on i'm pregnant i'm pregnant and this is december 24th just as god spoke it and I said, oh, I just took a moment to just because God is faithful and he will do what he said. And I feel like God is having me to share this story because there are women out there that are believing God for the fruit of their womb, to have children. And it seems like you've been praying, you've been fasting, you've been believing. And it seems like it's not happening. And I just, I wanted to share this story to give you hope. Uh, my friend now has two children. Um, and, and when I look at her children, I just think of the goodness of God. And how it doesn't matter what it seems like. It doesn't matter what the doctor said. And I'm not discrediting doctors because God has given them the ability. They're, they're doing their job. But God, when the doctor says no, God can give you a yes. When man says no, God can give you a yes. When it seems like it's impossible to happen, God can bless the fruit of your womb. And even and anything, it, it, it may not be the, you may just be believing God, maybe for a husband, maybe for a wife, whatever it may be, maybe for the job, maybe for the door to open, whatever it is, you can trust that God's timing is perfect. December 24th, 2018 was the time for my friend to receive her blessing. And the same is for you. I'm not saying it's going to be in December, but it's going to be at God's perfect time. And so I want to pray for those who are believing God, especially those, the women, the families who are believing God. You've been doing everything the right way. You've been trusting God. You've been obeying God. You've been waiting. You've been praying. You've been crying out. God has seen your cries and your tears. And at the set time, he will open your womb and bless you with a child, with a family that you so yearn and desire. Listen, I'm believing God for a future spouse and I'm believing God to have a family. To have children. And I, I, I'm going to have to go back and look at this video. I know. And, and I'm going to have to go back and remember. It wasn't. He didn't just do this for my friend. For her. But for me. And for me to come on and share this story with people who are desiring these things. Um, and just it seems hopeless. And so I'm gonna, we're going to pray. And we're going to believe God. I hope this story blessed you. Because it. it man it going through that moment now it's like you just watch it like it's, it's it's a memory but it's a good memory because you see the faithfulness of God you see that by any means necessary he'll get that promise to you his will will be done and he will give you that if you're desiring it and so father God I pray for every single woman every single family who may watch this video now and in the future I pray, God, that you would give them the fruit of their wombs. I pray that you would bless them with a the child. I pray that you would bless them with seed. I pray that you would bless them with that family that they so yearn and desire for. God, I pray 
that as they're believing and trusting in you, that you would be faithful to do what you said you could, you could do. God, that you would go above what the doctor said. The doctor may have said, no, God, I pray that you would give them a yes. God, and that you would bless them, that you would open their womb. God, just like you did for Sarah, just like you did for Hannah, just like you did for uh just like you did for all these women in the Bible, Rebecca, God, I pray that you uh, would bless them. Rachel, God, I pray that you would give them the fruit of their womb and that they would experience a child in good health. And God, that they would forever be so faithful to honor you and give you back the child that you bless them with. And so, God, I thank you. I thank you that you've done it. I thank you that you've made a way. I thank you that you've opened their wounds. I thank you that you've blessed them. I thank you, God. I can't wait to see. Comment below of the testimony when this thing come to pass. Because I believe it's going to be millions upon millions of women who are able to bear children when they thought they couldn't. I'm believing. I'm, I'm going to be praying for you. You ain't got to put your name. I, I'm going to be praying for you regardless. Everyone that that happens for you. I pray this in the mighty master's name of Jesus Christ. I believe God that you'll do it. And I thank you in advance for doing so. Listen, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Listen, I love you. Most importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. Have a great day, people. Bye.